Hello, let me show you how you can reduce battery usage on your Nothing Phone 2A+. I'm going to show you like every feature that actually drains your battery. Of course, you don't have to turn off everything. If you are using something, just stay with the settings. But most of them will, will actually improve your battery life. So first of all, uh, let's start by removing this Google screen. Click and hold on the empty space in the home screen. Then go to the home settings. And uh, when you are here, select unselect this one swipe to access to the google application and now as you can see it's not available anymore now uh, let's go into settings and uh, when you are here uh, let's start from some ba basic stuff go into the apps and basically remove any application that you are not using of course this is the brand new phone with uh, all of this you know base android applications but if you are not using this one, you can just simply get rid of it and do this with every application. And right now, go into the application that's sending you a lot of notifications. If you have this application, let's say that, for example, YouTube send me a lot of notifications. I'm not using YouTube often. Be sure that you actually switch off this YouTube notifications or the specific notifications that you want to receive. Next. You can also go into the app battery usage and as you can see right here you can get restricted and what it does what it does basically it actually restrict the battery usage while in the background and app might not work as expected so for example it will not send notifications but also it's not gonna use the mobile data in the background and when you are here of course you can also go into the mobile data and the wi-fi and we can get rid of this enable usage of mobile data and background so we can actually restrict mobile background mobile data usage for any application. And when you did it, you can simply go back. And right now, go back again, and you will have to go into sound and vibration. Right now, go into the vibration settings. And if you are not using, you know, the vibration focals or notifications, or for example, the touch feedback, especially the touch feedback, just simply turn it off and the same with this other settings like for example the screenshot sound charging sounds screen locking sound and the dl pad tones now when you go for the display be sure that you are using the automatic brightness that you reduce the screen timeout to 30 or 15 seconds be sure that you are using the dark theme and sometimes you can also force the 60 hertz so it will definitely improve a battery life even you get this information right here on the screen then uh, we can go into this uh, lock screen and you can turn off the always on display or some shortcuts like for example tap to show lock screen lift lock screen and wake screen for new incoming notifications now when we go back from this one we have to go for security and privacy Go into the more security settings and when you are here just go for the usage and diagnostics and simply switch this off uh, when you are here you will have to go back go back again and now uh, we have to go for location go into the location services and be sure that you switch off the bluetooth and wi-fi scanning and also if you are not using location right now just simply remember to turn it off if you are gonna go outside and you are gonna use your location google maps then simply turn it on back then go for google go into all services move into devices and switch this one to scan for nervy devices be sure that you also switch the usage and diagnostics uh, when you are going right here I mean we have to go back into the connected devices go to the connection preferences and first start start by turning off the default print service and also uh, it will be really useful if you turn off the quick share so who can share with you no one basically get rid of it and it works the same with the bluetooth so if you are not using bluetooth right now just switch this off and the same thing about the Wi-Fi and the mobile data so 
if you are if you are connected to the mobile data outside then be sure that you switch off this uh, Wi-Fi but if you are connected in your home in the Wi-Fi then you can simply switch off the mobile data uh, just simply by opening your notification bar wait a minute why it's not working there we go so right here we can simply switch off the Wi-Fi or the mobile data depends of your preferences and also you can remove glyphs so if you are not using glyphs then simply turn them off because they will drain your battery every time you receive some notifications or for example uh, you know some calls and stuff like this so that will be all